fancy buggy. I like it. Pretty fancy driver. You can eat lunch in here? I'd plan to. A swirl, so am I. Uh, do I know you? You don't have to be introduced formal. No, but I prefer it. Okay, lady. Excuse me for trying to be friendly. Kill that guy, huh? You know him? Webster? Nope. Hear about it? How can I help? Interested? Nope. No, I'm not. If I'm giving you a lift, Myers, I'd like to see your identification. I didn't say I wanted a lift. Maybe I'd better see it anyway. Sure. No, no, you don't! Stop it! Don't let it! We better get a doctor. Come on. Where do you think you're going? Mexico. You're not going to leave that man here. With you. Give me the car keys. Webster? Come on.
It's a police car. We've got a bullet for them and one for you. You're going to see a lot of cops and lots of people before we cross the border. Just behave yourself. Act natural and there won't be any trouble. I like quiet women. Stay that way. There's a gas station ahead. Better fill up before dark. You can do better than that. All right, look at the gas gauge. Hey, folks. Fill her up. Right. Keys? Huh? You want the gas in the gas tank, don't you? Could you tell me where the ladies' room is, please? It's over there, lady. Thank you. Excuse me. Wife? Nope. Pretty girl. Yeah. Hey, would you check the oil and the tires, please? Yep. I got me a pretty hot little old V8. It's a wreck, but I had a modified and she goes like a bomb. Had to throw the traps up a dry run. Did 103 miles an hour. What will this one do it in? I said, what will this one? I've been talking to myself. Going someplace? Well, she's all checked out and ready to go. That'll be four dollars. Sure a nice day to go cruising around. Weather's like this tomorrow, I'm gonna take my old wreck and go for a spin. You interested in racing? Well, I just fool around. I got my old wreck to the point where she'll go from zero to 50 in just 12 seconds. What'll this one do it in? She does. But he don't seem like the jag type. Only a few miles from here. What took you so long? He's still alive. You better call an ambulance. Did you see it? I was right here when he shot him. There's no gun wound. Well, it must have been Frank Webster. How do you know? Well, I was the one that recognized him. I told this fellow here that's who he was. And then that girl that was... Girl with Webster? Well, she must have been. She sent me out of the back room. And when I came back, he was lying there. Then you didn't see it. Well, I practically did. This is Sandals. I'm at the Sandal Peak Lodge Cafe. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna need an ambulance out here. Not determined yet. That's right. Right. What's the girl like? Oh, kind of... You know, the kind of girl you'd see with a guy like that. Did you uh, know what kind of car they were driving? A jalopy. Oh, did you see it? Can you describe it? No, I didn't, but... Uh, but, but that's what he called it, the one they shot. He called her car a jalopy. You better broadcast what you can figure out. Young man and woman, old car. Yeah, uh, get roadblocks set up. I wonder if you could come down to headquarters. Sure. Uh, I'd love to get out of this death trap. Funny thing, here I am talking to a guy who turns out to be Frank Webster. 
And then this dame comes in and orders pineapple juice. And I was telling her, our lady just ain't safe on the street these days. Do you want a cup of coffee? Mm. Then I find him on the floor. I better put some lipstick on. They might want to take my picture, huh? <laughs> and then I noticed this other guy wasn't a bit interested in the case. So I told the girl. I said, look. I'd appreciate you returning my car and my freedom. You said that before. I'm running out of variations. I'm also running out of patience. Any idea what to do about it? Several ideas. None of which I intend to discuss with you. I'm sorry if I caused you any trouble. Oh, don't let it bother you. I guess I should be grateful you haven't murdered me yet. Don't tempt me. What do you expect to get out of all this? You and this fancy car are my passport out of this country. I expect to get a few more years to live. And I suppose you'd do anything to get them. Just about. Don't try that again. I don't want to see you hurt. Why not? Because you're a nice kid. Besides, I haven't got time. I hate you. Just hate me all the way to Mexico. I not only hate you, I dislike you. I always did have trouble making friends. You're conceited, ruthless, cruel. Going over the mountains and around the cops, okay? Am I supposed to say yes? Yes. Aren't you, folks? Just wanted to tell you your tail light's out. Better get it fixed. You know, for a while I thought you were running away from me. All this speed, you ought to save it for the racetrack, don't you think? Now, well, take it easy along here. Got any more ideas? Not at the moment. Let's take a walk. than you're worth. Why didn't that officer recognize you back there? Maybe he's not one of my fans. Start looking. For what? The ignition key. What did you think? The diamonds? You see anything? I'm not looking. Got any matches? 
Listen, if you want to play rough... I don't want to play at all. Well, then don't. All I wanted you to give me back my car and let me alone. I would have to pick on someone like you. Someone will come along soon. And with my luck, you're probably right. Connie, you dare, huh? What are you doing? I'm gonna try to make this thing start. Without a key? It wasn't my idea, you know. Would you care to tie yourself to the wheel or shall I? It's almost midnight. You ride off on a broom? No coyotes were afraid of humans. You start all your cars this way? Only the ones I steal. What's that? An extra key. Why didn't you tell me you had it? Why didn't you ask me? I don't think you can get much out of him, Sergeant, but you can try. Critical? It's difficult to say. Must have hit his head pretty hard. Mr. Nielsen, can you hear me? I'm a policeman. Can you give me any information? Can you hear me? Why don't you try telling him what you think happened? He may respond to that. You were in a fight, Nielsen. A man and a woman were there. Do you know who they were? Do you know what kind of car they were driving? Can you tell us? Were they driving an old car? Do you know the man who hit you? Couldn't it have been Frank Webster? He's trying to speak. He slipped up again. Nurse, call me if anything develops. These concussions are pretty tricky things, Sergeant. This isn't necessary. Of course not. I said I was sorry. You're about the sorriest creature I've ever known. <laughs> like this for years, and then get worse. I don't know who you think you're looking for. Well, it could have been Webster, but I thought you said it was some fancy kind of car. Oh, he could have changed cars. Oh. Country reminds me of the time I was bitten by a rattlesnake. <clears throat> Only five years old. Me, not the snake. The snake died. It figures. What's the matter? Did you get up on the wrong side of the car? I don't like this belt around my wrists. It suits you. Oh, 
all the comforts of home. Go wash your face. And you'll wake up feeling fresher, happier, and ready to beat the world. Now, here's late news on the manhunt for the truck driver wanted for murder. Police have broadcast a description of Frank Webster, still reported at large. In a wild race through the Coachella Valley, Webster forced another truck into the ditch. The truck overturned and killed the driver. Webster was arrested, but escaped from jail. Now, a general alarm is out for this dangerous criminal, and police through the southern half of the state are combing the area all the way to the border. It is reported Webster is accompanied by a young woman, but nothing is known of her. They make you sound so exciting. Not at all like you. Hey, you stop more than you ride. Well, whoever they were, they must have gone on through to the highway. Well, maybe. Don't urge it to keep trying, though. I wish I'd taken a better look at them last night. Oh, let's take a break. Once over, this road's enough for me. around the cops. Come on. Get up early. You know, for some reason, I'm going to miss you. Thanks. Maybe you won't get a chance. Who's in those sport cars? I don't... Racers, maybe? Headed for the race? I suppose. Mexico, huh? They'll recognize you. Not if you're a good girl. And if you are, when this is all over, you'll still be alive and beautiful. You'll never get away with it. Maybe not. But I'm going to try. Viva Mexico. Remember what I told you. Don't try anything. With the others? Yeah. Where are you going? Mexico. Is this your uh, wife, Mr. Myers? Bill Myers. What's the trouble, officer? Looking for a man and a woman. Frank Webster and his girl. What kind of a car are they driving? Some kind of a jalopy. You can pull up with those other racers. Do I have to? Unless you want to spend half your time going through roadblocks. Thanks a lot. Okay.
So Mr. Myers and his wife are going to Mexico. Where do they start from? How do they get there, hmm, Mr. Myers? Uh, are you going to ride with me in the International tomorrow? You're so right. Oh. Tell the sergeant he's coming around. And tell him to hurry. Mr. Nielsen. Mr. Nielsen. How is he? Better make it fast. I'm a policeman. I'm trying to help you. Try to understand. A man and a woman were in the cafe. And a man attacked you. You know what they were driving. Can you remember? Jack. Jack. Yes, go on. It's unconscious again. Jag. I suppose he means by that. Think the waitress could shed any light on it? No, no, she couldn't. Jag. What Jag? Jaguar. Jaguar, it's a racing car. The waitress said it was a jalopy. Anyway, at this point, we gotta try anything. By tomorrow, most of those cars will be at the International fenced into a five-acre park. in the park, we could stop and have lunch. Or is that impossible? It is. Maybe you'd rather register for the race. Or is that impossible, too? Register? Look, Connie, will you give me a break? Why should I? You drive people off roads, leave injured men unconscious. Maybe someday I can explain. All right, don't give me a break. Just remember, I've got a gun and I know how to use it. Checkpoint number one. Checkpoint number one. Number 54, J.L. Clancy, approaching fast. Get that truck off the course. Let Clancy pass. Okay, Clancy. Oh, hi, folks. Going to register? Yes. Yeah. All right, just write the name of the driver in the car there. Okay, Clancy, you've qualified. Number 54, Clancy, you've qualified. Come on in. Oh, Miss uh, Constance Adair driving? Yes. Yes, I'm right. I uh, guess you hadn't heard. They uh, had a meeting last night. This course is too dangerous. All lady drivers are banned. But I've got to. I'm sorry, but that's what they decided. I'll drive. Oh, you're a racer, too. Put me down. What name? Myers. Bill Myers. Address? El Centro. Identification? OK, that does it. This is a map of the course, Mr. Myers. Now, first, the qualifying run today is the first two miles of tomorrow's race. That keeps the trials entirely within the park, and we allow one uh, run to get familiar with the course. Nice going, Clancy. Well, now, after you've made this practice run, double back over this road and make a running start for your qualifying run. That'll be checked by an electric timer. But just remember, this race is over the old road through the mountains, along the coast into Mexico. It's a dangerous course. People can get killed. Yeah. Well, Miss Adair can ride with me, can't she? Well, for the trials, if she wants, but not tomorrow. You know, we've always had nothing but drivers in this race. Are you ready now? As ready as we'll ever be. Well, uh, here are your numbers. 55. Stick them on before the test. Well, I'll be watching you, and I... <laughs> Well, what's the matter, young lady? Are you hungry? Well, yes, I am. Well, if you'd like a sandwich... Oh, no, thanks. Never mind. She's always hungry. <laughs> Notice all checkpoints. Notice all checkpoints. Number 55, Bill Myers, is about to start. Clear all portions of the course. Clear all portions of the course. Hi, honey. Connie! 
neighbor. I... Connie, what's the matter? They had a meeting last night. Won't allow any women drivers. Oh, poor little Connie. And some of them are the fastest drivers in the business. And the best. That's what I meant. You gonna take over? Yes, so. Well, we'd better get started with the trials. I never saw this car before. Is it fully modified? Huh? You seem pretty new at this. Done much racing? A little. Take more than that. You're in with the best drivers in the country in this one. That's what I hear. Toughest road I've ever been on. I've been over them all. Good for you. Say, Connie, why don't you just pull out as long as you can't drive? I said, Connie, why don't you just pull out as long as you can't drive? It might be easier than taking a chance with the car. I think I can manage it. Apparently. Say, Connie, how about taking in the antique race with me this afternoon? Mm -hmm. Or are you busy with your driver? We'd be glad to. Thanks. What are you, her keeper? Sure thing. Thanks. You forgot your numbers. All right, checkpoint two. Straighten that line of bales near the edge. Pull the truck off the course till Myers goes by. Where'd you get the Bill Myers? From a drunk of that name. It was a small jail. You might say we traded. Nice boyfriend you got there. Thank you. One of your crowd, I suppose. Well, if he didn't have money, he wouldn't last five minutes. He might even become a criminal, like you. If he got lucky. Here. Put this on. You may as well look the part. They'll put hay bales on the track to protect you during the race. Dangerous course, huh? Yes. Especially for hay trucks. Gear down! Put it in the lower gear at all sharp turns. Don't lose our pins. You like this? Yes. Now step on the gas after we hit the curve. Ever driven a sports car before? No, but I've driven everything from hot rods to tanks. You gear down first, you don't have to nurse the motor back once you shift it to high. The way you drive, you didn't run that truck up the road by accident. I thought you already decided that. Would you like to win the race? I always like to win. I don't think I can make it. I don't think you will. Thanks. What? I said thanks. You're welcome. Okay, Myers, you can double back to your qualifying run now. This is going to be a crowded one. Yeah. Mr. Hillman? Yes, what can I do for you? Officer Faraday of the state police. Wonder if I could check over your list of entrants. Why, yeah, sure, but why? We're looking for someone who might be hiding out in the park. We think he's driving a Jaguar. Well, that's a new one. It sure is. Well, I'll do anything I can to cooperate. You checked all the identifications of the entrants? Oh, yes, they'll cross the border, you know. We don't expect to see him in the race, but we have to take every precaution. Well, go right ahead, officer. Okay, Myers, this is your qualifying. Better go. Lady sure approves of our driver there. Okay, 55. Myers, 55. You've qualified. Second fastest time so far. That will put you second to last in the starting second line. Second to last? I sure get the brakes. I feel almost as sorry for you as you do. You're a real fighter, aren't you? And you're a criminal wanted for murder. Yeah. And now you can add kidnapping. We're getting out of this little playground. Did you find anything to help you out? 
No, thanks. I'll just hang around and keep my eyes open. a roadblock. Oh, but it is. You'd think I was Dillinger. Does all this attention make you feel important? Not very. You didn't get word to them. I wish I had. I'll bet you do. You're lovely all the way. Hi. What's going on down there? Oh, the cops, they're looking for a guy that they think's here in the park. You think this should be a crazy place to hide? Well, you never know what they're going to pull next. They figure he's going to be driving a Jaguar. Broke out of jail with a murder rap. They don't expect him to be racing, but for that kind of a car, he'd hang around here until the heat's off. I doubt it. Uh, you folks racing? Wouldn't miss it. Hey, that's a lot there. They're uh, looking for him to have a young woman with him. Come on, Bill. If you're going to get your rest, we'd better go. Say, the fellow they're looking for is Frank Webster, in case you run into him. Good luck in the race. Take a break. Why here? Nobody ever comes here. There's an old house up the road. It's been abandoned for years. Again. I discovered this place when I first started coming down to the races. I've sort of considered it mine ever since. Won't you come into my parlor? What's the pitch? Nothing. I'm just tired. So are you. Besides, you said something about an explanation. I'd like to hear it. On the level? Well, at the moment, the only thing I have against you is I never got that egg salad sandwich. Suppose the starter's accusing his wife of not packing a lunch. Frank! You run away? Later. jury sometime. If you've got some romantic idea that I'm going to give myself up and face a jury that's stacked against me, you can forget it. What makes you so sure the jury's going to be against you? Connie, look, you're a smart girl. You know a lot about Jaguars, but don't tell me about a fix in a small town when it's mad or a card game when you haven't got any cards. Well, Frank, the whole world isn't against you. You'll get an even break if you give it a chance. Sure, give it a chance. Listen, Connie, all my life I've been trying to get by on my own because that's the way I figured it. After the Army, well, I saved some money, so I bought myself a truck. Not two trucks or a fleet. No partners, just me. Turned out I was bothering somebody. Guy who owned a lot of trucks. He tried everything. Undercut me, everything. But I figured I had my rights, so I stuck. 
and one of his drivers tried to run me off the road. All I was trying to do was keep from getting killed. And his truck went over the side. Then how can they accuse you of murder? Two minutes later, one of his other drivers was there yelling his head off about how I drove his buddy over the cliff. He didn't even seem to care much that he was dead. Why did you break out of jail? No jury in the world would convict you if you told them what happened. If I got to a jury. Those truckers were coming to get me. They weren't waiting for a trial. I had to break out of jail. That gang of hoodlums probably slept it off the next morning. If you go back now, they won't have anything to do with it. They've got everything to do with it. But you can't prove you're innocent running away. I can't prove it dead. Look, I'll tell them what happened at the cafe. We'll get lawyers. Y you've, you've got to believe in yourself. In the law. In someone. Sure. Sure, Connie. Fred. How do? Good afternoon. Is that your car? Yeah. Well, you ain't supposed to be here, you know. No. No, I didn't know. Are you folks from the races? Sure would like to see them. Boy, that's a good-looking car. Luckily, I came by. You know, after sunset, the cops patrol the park. And they arrest you and pinch you. Cops would come here? Yeah, looking for the kids, you know. Kind of a, a lover's lane. <laughs> well, good evening. Frank, I didn't know. You're smart, like I said, Connie, but not smart enough. Frank, I swear. Got any more hideouts, cute spots, picnic spots nobody knows about? Trust somebody. You see why I don't? Well, what do you expect? You hate the world, and the world hates you. And that specifically and especially includes me. I'll break it for you if you try any more tricks. to my boyfriend, you know. We have a date. You wouldn't go without me, would you? I'm serious, Connie. Don't try anything. Hi there. Hi. Well, where have you two been hiding out? Say, this isn't a big romance, is it? Oh, of course not. What time does the antique race start? We ought to make it just about now. Connie, I'll let you ride with me. Uh, no, thanks. We'll meet you there. Okay. Don't run away again. race, we have everything but the Stanley Steamer. Oh, I take it all back. Wait a minute. Here is the Stanley Steamer, ready to defend its honor against the model team. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Here comes Benny's Maxwell. <laughs> well, folks, you can see for yourselves, the race is about to begin. Not everybody can get in the Marshall stand. Looks like everybody has. Tell me, where have you two been all afternoon? Oh, we just picked up a bite of lunch. When are you going to get your pit check? Huh? I said, when are you going to get your pit check? You made your point. Why don't you tell him? Isn't it exciting? Oh, we're going to get checked over and gassed up in the morning. Say, Mr. Myers, how did you and Connie ever meet each other? Oh, look.
And now we have the announcement of the winner in this, the last race. Mr. A.J. Jones driving his Maxwell. How about something to eat? Fine. Would you like to join us, Mr. Myers? Yeah, thanks. The winning cars of the Concord Elegance are now on display on the lawn. The grand prize winner in the $10,000 and over class, a Rolls-Royce convertible owned by Mr. Jack Milner of Beverly Hills, is at the head of the line. A man who drives as well as you should see this. Sure, it'll be an education. He'll be so interested. May we see your car, sir? Certainly may. Thank you. Now, this is one of the few convertible Rolls Royces ever made. Exactly like the one owned by the King of Denmark. It's beautiful. Say, Connie, the way you stowed away those hot dogs, I thought you said you just had lunch. It's the fresh air. The peace and quiet of the country. Peace and quiet? They're keeping it undercover, but a friend of mine told me they're looking for a murderer. A guy named Frank Webster. They think he's in the park. I just think this would be a nice place to hide out. They don't actually know he's guilty, do they? He's guilty. Say, where'd you say you were from? Bill, isn't it? El Centro. Oh? Say, do you know Elmo Redding up there? No, I don't. That's funny. Thought everybody knew Elmo. Owns half the town. No, I, I don't remember him. Say, how'd you and Connie ever get together? I needed a driver. I, I heard they might ban women drivers, so I asked Bill to drive for me. Thought you said you hadn't driven much. But he has. He's driven lots. You don't look like a sports car man. How can you tell? Well, it's a rather expensive hobby. Money doesn't make a good driver, Faber. Well, I didn't say it did, Connie. All I said was that Bill didn't look like a sports car man. He looks more like a truck driver to me. Come on, Bill. Let's get up to the pit. Say, Connie, I never thought I'd see you with that type. Don't never see me with your type, either. Mrs. John Howell, your small son Peter, is at the announcer's booth. He says he isn't lost, but you are. If anyone has a set of extra spark plugs for a Ferrari, please check the... This room get checked over. Eddie! Hi, Mr. Dare. How are you? Fine, Eddie. How are you? Can't complain. How's the car feeling? Oh, it's fine, too. Would you check it over for me? I guess you're not driving in the race. This is Bill Myers. He's driving. She sure is a hot one, Mr. Myers. She sure is. Can I leave it here tonight and get it first thing in the morning? I'll have it ready for you first thing in the morning. Thanks, Eddie. Been buzzing any hay trucks lately? No. <laughs> that was the most. Oh, uh, Sally Phillips, this is Bill Myers. Glad to know you. Come on, we're going to a party. Who's? Mine. What for? For fun. I mean, what's the occasion? Oh, uh, all of us lady drivers who aren't allowed to drive are going to celebrate uh, breaking training. Now, you know you've never been in training. Does that mean I can't break it? <laughs> Come on. Say, where are you two staying tonight? Or um, should I ask? We're looking. You'll never find anything around here. This town's packed. You want to stay with us? Oh, we don't want to intrude on your folks. Oh, well, won't be any trouble. We'll have a ball. You haven't got a friend, have you? No. Believe me, he hasn't. Well, it won't be any intrusion. My folks are going to be up all night anyway. How come? Well, my dad's a deputy, and they're looking for a man. Oh, for goodness sakes. Then who isn't? But they'll be out beating the bushes and coming back for coffee and out looking and coming back for sandwiches and... Well, let's go. You know, I, I just remembered, we, we do have a place to stay. Oh? Well, you can come for a drink, can't you? No, I'm afraid not. It'll make us late. Well, if you're in such a rush, I'll give you a lift. No, it'll make us late. Thanks. I begin to understand why you haven't got a friend. You think it's worth it, Connie, to find a guy that can drive? Well, uh, nice to have met you, miss. Likewise, I'm sure. Uh, Say, if you don't want to go to the party, would you like to join the manhunt? No, thanks. I didn't think so.
Where are we going, Frank? Park's getting hot. Wouldn't you rather give up than get caught? No. Come on. Me and that car together are just too hot for this park till we're on our way to Mexico. Well, where are we going now? For a walk. If it takes all night. Oh, Frank, what on earth are you trying to prove? That it's harder to hit a moving target. Well, you keep moving. I feel safer with you. You don't even trust me, do you? Any reason why I should? Oh, no, of course not. I haven't been any help at all. You're good company, though. <sighs> Couldn't we just stop by the side of the road? No. What's wrong with that? I said no. I'm tired. Exercise is good for your figure. There's nothing wrong with my figure. I've noticed. I'm not going any farther. Everybody's on your side. Oh. Oh. I like it here. I thought you would. Come on. Oh, no. Oh. I am. Don't tell me you like it here, too. I just want to carry over the threshold. checking hideouts. Oh, Frank, why didn't you tell me we were coming someplace definite? I like surprises. Oh, well, I don't. Oh, Frank. Look better after the furniture arrives. I'd rather walk. Don't go away. Oh, Frank, you're not still afraid I'll run away. We kid around a little, Connie, but this is life and death, mine. So we'll play it real safe. All I want you to do is give yourself up and face the charges. And I want you to mind your own business. Okay. For all I care, you can go to Africa. And stay there. Why should I try to convince you? Don't cry. You? I'm not. Why should I try to Connie, convince you? That I love you. I'm Mexico? If you go to Mexico, you'll give up the only chance you've got. That's not the way I see it. Well, believe me, you see it wrong. If you'll give me a chance, I'll prove it. Send me a postcard. Don't you want me? I want you. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever known. But I can't afford to stay. Oh, but you're innocent. It isn't what you are that counts. It is. It's what you get taken for. Someday what you really are is going to catch up with you. It'll be worth fighting for. I just hope it isn't too late. Thanks for everything. Frank! I'll tell them where you are. Oh, Frank! Please, don't do this. I'm sorry. Drivers who have not yet. 
can't sign their insurance forms, please report to the booth. Uh, Dr. Sampson, call your office. Hi, Eddie. Oh, good morning, Mr. Myers. How is she? Great little car. She's in top shape. in my opinion. I still don't think you belong here, and I think I'll prove it. Good luck. Thanks for everything. Yeah, 
Jones, the last turn onto the park. He stopped her holding the lead with Daniel pressing close behind. Myers and Hatfield are in a challenging position for the lead as they swing out of the park and into the mountains on the way to Mexico. For further progress on this great race, the International, listen to the bulletins on your radio. There's the phone, but I don't see what good it's going to do you. The, the race has already started. Operator, give me the police. Police, listen very carefully. The driver of car 55 in the International is Frank Webster. Just try to stop him at the border. He's innocent. Thanks for the lift. Like it's okay now, Eddie. Yeah, she's all ready. Harrison! Johnny, how are you? Harrison, can I Too hear you? Too bad you can't drive in the race. Johnny, what's the matter? Why aren't you racing? Something happened to the starter, but. Is it all right now? Yeah, sure, but. Could I use your car? Connie, it's too late to drive in the race. I've got to get to the border. I'll use the main highway. Say, what is this? I'll explain it later. It's important to me, Harrison. Please. Hey, Eddie, is, is she ready to go now? Perfect. Johnny, uh, are you sure you're all right? I will be. Thank you, Harrison. Webster, I'll get him.
favor? Yes, thanks. He's all right. How'd the cops find out? I turned you in. How'd you get out? Set the building on fire. You're a pretty dangerous character yourself. You could have run away instead of helping him. Why didn't you? Because you're right, Connie, and I'm going back. Besides, I'm getting used to you. Oh, Frank, what you really are is worth fighting for. And it isn't too late. For us, it's just the beginning. Mm -hmm.